Hello friends, I'm Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on Revit structures. So friends, in the previous videos, we had seen how to insert reinforcements to our columns, footings including the starter bars and also our beams. So in this video, we'll see how to calculate the quantity of rebars used in our model. So the placement of the rebars in our model is not complete, we'll complete that. Before that, we'll see how to calculate the quantity of rebars. Let me select this entire model and then I'll go to, I'll go to my project browser menu and then here I'll have schedules quantities. I'll just right click on that and select new schedule or quantity. After that, I'll filter the list to only structure and I'll untick all of that. And then from below, I'll select structural rebar. After that, I'll just name it. Let's say I'll type total quantity. Then I'll click on OK. After that, the software is asking me to insert some fields into my tables. I'll just for now select bar diameter, bar length, and then I'll select quantity. Quantity I've selected. For now, I'll just go with this three and then click on OK. After that, you can see my table name total quantity. We have the bar diameters, bar lengths and the bar quantities. So we have used 10 mm bars, 12 mm bars, 8 mm bars for our stirrups and ties and then also 16 mm bars in our model. So we can see that it has given the bar length and bar quantity of all these types of reinforcement. So after completing this model, we can again look at the schedule and we can find out how much quantity of reinforcement will be used in this model. So that's all for today. Stay tuned to our channel for more upcoming videos and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.